I always loved singing, you know. And I had a dream when I was like mm, six or seven years old. It was a vision I had. I was in front of like millions of people and I was supposed to be singing and I uh, was terrified. And something told me to shrink into myself, the center of my chest, and I started singing from there. And only later did I realize the metaphor, when you're playing music, when you're living life, it's all about finding a place where you're not thinking and you're living from your heart. Oh yeah, you want to sing something on it? Sing it. Let's do it live. <laughs> Growing up, music was all around me. You know, it was my dad's job. My earliest memories were with Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings and Chris Christopherson with the Highwaymen. And all this music I just kind of absorbed. My son Luca's here playing the guitar. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a tradition, it's a lineage, but it's more just being true to yourself and who you are. That's something that needs to continue, and so I'm trying to find that poetry in my own music and continue in my own way. I'm waiting on a Promise of the Real, my band, started a long time ago, in the beginning of my musical career and life. I met our drummer, Anthony, at a Neil Young concert, and we started the band Promise of the Real, based on our mutual love for Neil. Named it after the song, Walk On, sooner or later it all gets real. And then seven years later, we're his band. Now I got a reason for living. It was as if he sent out a signal, and we all, over seven years, gathered it makes me believe in an order of all things. You know, it's just great. It feels like family on the stage with Neil, but Neil rocks really hard. I grew up both in Austin and Maui, so I was kind of like surfing cowboy. And so I developed this thing where I just still had my country roots, but then I had this rock and roll thing that really was sparked by my mom. She introduced me to Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Cedar trees, the morning air, the way the dew sits on her hair, so peacefully below a Texas sky. I think I'll leave her lying there and take a walk I don't know where Just bathing in the sunlight in my life One more time, one more time. Chris Christopherson is a big mentor to me. I wrote one of my first songs when I was 11 years old, and my dad liked it so much he put it on his album. Chris was blown away, and you know, he said, so you're gonna be a songwriter, and I was a kid, and I was like, you know, I don't know, and he's like, well, you don't have a choice. You know, <laughs> you're gonna be a songwriter. If Christofferson's telling me I'm gonna be a songwriter, then I'm gonna be one. Just outside of Austin. Oh, this is the uh, bunkhouse. Hi. The bunkhouse. Oh, shit. Chess, poker, news. You know, nothing much. Yeah, it's just a hangout. Just outside. Honestly, if I learned how to play 
so I could have something to relate to you by. You know, because you were gone a lot. What can I do in my life to to bring us closer together that would you know have a reason for besides us? golf? Be well, besides golf. Yeah. As a kid, I would say, well, I kind of got a voice that sounds like Dad. It's unavoidable, you know. But maybe if I play a music that's like Dad and Hendrix and Eric Clapton mix. I said, I hope you find yourself. Right when I was getting to know Stephanie, Lady Gaga, she came into the studio and she heard Find Yourself. It's like, oh, I hear background vocals. You know, she could do any style. And she sang on it and killed it. I know the love that I My music, Cosmic Country Soul. That's the combination of colors that makes my music what it is. And my intention is always just to come from the heart. That's all I can do when I sing and when I play. So I say, Ray, let me forget about Georgia. Part of me hopes that she'll never forget about me. Oh, part of me hopes that she'll never forget about me.